In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear friends, welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. And today we celebrate the memorial of St. Borromeo, Bishop. And so, as we gather, let us call to mind our sins first, and once again, ask the Lord for pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Preserve in the midst of your people, we ask, O Lord, the spirit with which you filled the Bishop St. Charles Borromeo that your church may be constantly renewed, and by conforming herself to the likeness of Christ, may show his face to the world, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Join with others in being imitators of me, brothers and sisters, and observe those who thus conduct themselves according to the model you have in us. For many, as I've often told you, and now tell you even in tears, conduct themselves as enemies of the cross of Christ. Their end is destruction, their God is their stomach, their glory is in their shame. Their minds are occupied with earthly things. But our citizenship is in heaven, and from it we also await a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. He will change our lowly body to conform with his glorified body by the power that enables him also to bring all things into subjection to himself. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, whom I love and long for, my joy and crown, in this way, stand firm in the Lord, beloved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. I rejoiced because they said to me, We will go up to the house of the Lord. And now we have set foot within your gates, O Jerusalem. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem built as a city with compact unity. To it the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. According to the decree for Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord, in it are set up judgment seats, seats for the house of David. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Please stand. Whoever keeps the word of Christ, the love of God, is truly perfected in Him. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, A rich man had a steward, 
who was reported to him for squandering his property. And he summoned him and said, What is this I hear about you? Prepare a full account of your stewardship, because you can no longer be my steward. The steward said to himself, What shall I do? Now that the master is taking the position of steward away from me, I am not strong enough to dig, and I am ashamed to beg. I know what I shall do so. When I am removed from the stewardship, that they may welcome me into their homes. And so he called in his master's debtors one by one. To the first he said, How much do you owe my master? He replied, One hundred measures of olive oil. And he said to him, Here is your promissory note. Sit down and quickly write one for fifty. Then to another he said, And you, how much do you owe? He replied, One hundred measures of wheat. And he said to him, Here is your promissory note. Write one for eighty. And the master recommended that this honest steward for acting prudently. For the children of this world are more prudent in dealing with their own generation than the children of light. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Peace be seated. Sa buhay, mahalaga that you are so in touch with your realities. Mahalaga po yun. You are fully aware of who you are, fully aware of what you have, and fully aware of the things around you. Your stories, your history, your past, yung buong kwento ng buhay mo. My dear friends, this is exactly what happened in the main character in today's Gospel. The steward na tinatanggal na po, eventually, he realized, he started to get in touch of, of himself. And then because of that, he was able to do something. Take note, ha? malinaw na malinaw po. Jesus is not praising the dishonesty of this steward. Hindi niya pinupuri ang pagiging sinungaling ng taong ito. Malinaw na malinaw po yun. It's just that in the story, it's all about this this dishonest steward. That after he was confronted by his own dishonesty, by his own vices, eventually namulat. Namulat at then natutunan niya kung ano pala ang tunay na estado ng pagkabuhay niya. He started to get in touch of who he is. At mahalaga yan sa buhay natin. Kailangan natin alam yung kwento natin. Alamin yung mga nakalipas sa atin. Get in touch with your own stories. Alam nyo, ako po, ang, minis ang ministry ko po ay sa seminaryo. At mahalaga po sa amin yan. Lahat po ng mga seminarista ay dadaan po sa tinatawag nating psycho-spiritual integration. Na kung saan, talagang, we need to dig some more sa kwento ng pagkatao nila. Kailangan nila balikan yung kanilang mga nakalipas, yung mga stories nila, kahit kung sila'y bata pa. Kailangan nila bigyan balikan yun. Baka meron pa kasi mga naiwan na mga wounds, mga sakit. Because definitely, if you are not mindful of who you are, if you are not really in touch with yourself, you might have tendencies. You might have tendencies along, the, along, along. And then the worst thing is that you are not even aware of why these things are happening in you. At sa psychology po, meron po tayong tinatawag, the body memories, na aalala ng katawan ang mga kwentong iyon. Kaya minsan, kusa na lang tayong nasasaktan, naiingit, insecure. Yun yung mga effect na yun eh. Makakita ka ng ganito. Ang lakas-lakas ng insecurities mo. Maybe something to do with your stories before that you need to look back and then you need to heal the wounds behind them. 
Mahalaga po yun. Sabi ko nga po, you have to get in touch with that. Babalikan mo. Babalikan mo. And hilumin mo. At sana sa iyong paghilom, don't blame yourself. And learn to forgive. And this is exactly what happened. Anong ginawa ng, ng karakter sa ating kwento? Nalalaman niya, oh my God, this is my reality now. Kaya binali, anong ginawa niya? Binalikan niya. Kinausap niya. Nagkaroon ng paghilom. At even forgiveness. Get in touch with who you are. Get in touch with your stories. Learn to own them. Huwag mong i-deny. Hindi mo maaaring i-deny ang kwento mo. Take note, you will never forget them. Babalik at babalik sa iyo yan. You will never, never erase them. It will always be a part of you. That is why, if you have that kind of, you are in that situation, do not simply give up. Learn to cope up. Balikan mo yung kwento. Hilumin mo. And eventually, at the end of the day, you will have that very peaceful disposition. Nakakita ba kayo ng mga taong hindi mo alam, hindi mo maiintindihan, napakasungit. Hindi mo alam, napakamudi. Malay mo, ikaw mismo nakakaramdam, nararamdaman mo ba yung sarili mo? Minsan hindi mo maiintindihan. Just simply look back. Recall your stories. And if you need to do something, do it now. So that at the end of the day, you will have a more peaceful personality. Ang pagbabalik, or we call it, get in touch with who you are. Kahit po sa buhay spiritual natin, paano mo matutunang mahimingi ng tawad sa Diyos? That will only be possible if you are in touch with who you are, that you are a sinner. Kaya yung mga taong hindi marunong maghumingi ng tawad sa Diyos, sila yung mga taong napakalaks sa konsensya na kahit pa ulit-ulit, alam nila ang kanilang kalagayan, sitwasyon na sila'y gumagawa ng kasalanan, at the end of the day, parang wala lang sa kanila. And who will suffer at the end? Mahirap kaya mabuhay na kapag sinusuntok ka ng konsensya. Sagana ka nga, Punong-puno ka nga sa material na bagay. Ang tanong, mapayapa ba? Get in touch with your realities. Learn to own it. Accept it. And if you need to do something, do it now. Please stand. We make our prayers to the Father who has called us to be faithful stewards in using the goods of the earth for the benefit of all. And for every petition, we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may be conscious of her responsibility to promote social justice in the community. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That government officials may be worthy of the people's trust, and may they not desire selfish gains in the exercise of their office. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That employers and workers may be honest and respectful to one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may be given the gift of patience in their illness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our beloved dead may reap the fruits of their labors in God's eternal kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May their friends in silence we offer to God 
all our personal needs, intentions, and prayers while seeking for the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Heavenly Father, help us to be faithful stewards of your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look upon, O Lord, the offering placed on your altar in commemoration of St. Charles, and grant by the power of the sacrifice, just as you made him an attentive pastor, outstanding in the merits of his virtues, so you may make us abound in good fruit by our works. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Almighty God. For as on the festival of the Saint Charles Borromeo, you bid your church rejoice. So too, you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and, and saints, we sing the hymn of our praise as without end we acclaim. font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, Saint Charles Borromeo, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and never. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, Lord, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear friends, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Paalala po sa lahat, sa inyong pagtanggap ng komunyon, bago humarap sa magbibigay ng komunyon, pakibaba na po ang face mask. Kapag sinabi sa inyo, Body of Christ, tanggapin ng inyong dalawang kamay ang ostya at sumagot ng Amen. At isubo na agad ang ostya. Huwag po ninyong isubo habang naglalakad at lalong huwag dalhin sa upuan ang ostya upang maiwasan po ang pagkahulog nito. Salamat po. Please stand. Let us pray. May the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken, O Lord, we pray, give us that determination which made St. Charles faithful in ministry and fervent in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick and the prayer of all the religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Mother, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, May these rosaries, images, and candles, and all religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.